Well, hello everyone, and welcome to uh, your weekly Chick Boss chat. I'm Pat Pinnell, the founder of Chick Boss, and I'm here with my good friend and sales director of Chick Boss, Connie Clausen. Um, I am uh, just uh, waiting to see um, when folks get on board here with us. I have some, it always makes me nervous when I have some swirling motion going on with the computer. <laughs> are we here or not? I'm going to guess that we are. Um, anyway, it's summer and um, we're wondering, you know, what are Chick Bosses up to uh, while we're having our summer um, locked out? Uh, we also want to talk to you about some wonderful summer jewelry. You might get a hint by what you see behind me and what we're wearing, but we'll talk about that in just a minute. And um, let me check in with Connie. Connie, what, what are you? What is on your mind? What What is on your chick boss brain? As you said, we've been talking about well, it's summer. But, uh, what are we not doing this summer that we might be regularly doing? And one of the things that came up was going to the zoo. You know, it's a wonderful thing to take the kids and you get to see the animals. And uh, it's usually in a very nice park setting, whatever. And what came to my mind recently was a, a call for help from our local zoo here in Oakland that they were saying because of the uh, of people not being able to come and support the organization, they're actually running low on funds. And, and you and I talked about this. Oh my gosh, the animals in the zoo, they need food and care and maintenance. So we both wound up donating to the zoo and, and, and that was great. And um, I read about a six-year-old girl here in Oakland who started a GoFundMe uh, project, raised $200,000 for the Oakland Zoo to feed them. So I thought, what an upcoming chick boss. What a no fabulous kidding. Oh, Sign yeah. her up. <laughs> yeah, really. And I guess there's going to be a live uh, webcast from the, from the zoo, and she is actually going to be uh, interviewed. And then I was remembering you and I, we did a trade show in San Diego. And at the time we were there, we heard that the two pandas that were there, a mother and son, were going back to China. They're only loaned to the United States for 15 years at a time. And so you and I, with only an hour and a half to spare, scuttled down there to the zoo. Uh, well, anyway, so zoos, we're not going to zoos, um, but I'm really glad that we're actually helping to support our local zoo. And um, it is summertime, and so summer means we get to wear light clothing and light jewelry, and so please tell us about that, Pat. <laughs> well, we are wearing the Chick Boss Organic Collection, and what's so great about it for summer is, uh, is that it's very lightweight, and it just sort of has this whole summer vibe going on because it's all made with thread, cotton threads, and wood, um, and metal, so it's all organic materials, and there's quite a story, actually, um, about these. Hi, Dora, I see that you just got on. Nice to see you. Or, um, so these threads are actually tiny little, um, this is hand-done hand done threads, that the making of the threads, it all comes from Guatemala. There's, there's their, um, what do they call that? Uh, the threads actually are, are made well, there well, well no when you actually make a thread hmm. yeah i don't know they, they they make these tiny tiny little threads and then this is what's used in um the beautiful weaving that's uh that guatemala is so known for but we take the little threads and they get counted out the ladies that work for us um in our um with our artisan group in guatemala count them out and then they have to twist them to so many twists per inch. I'm going to show you up close what this looks like. You can see those tiny little threads in there. So those little tiny threads were made by a different artisan group. And then our group gets them and they have to count, um, like there's some that have 30 something uh, threads in them. Uh, they have to get counted together and then twisted and they have to meet these specifications to um, for these twists. And 
you know, when you look at it, you're thinking, oh, that's nice. It's just a rope, right? It's a pretty rope. There is a lot of work in this and a lot of love as well. I also want to talk about these wooden beads. This is walnut. Some of them were rosewood, but mainly now we're using walnut. Uh, this is a hand-turned bead. All of this, this wood comes from the rainforests of Guatemala through sustainable forestry. And they're hand-turned. There's a, a artisan group in a town called Ramate, which is, I don't know, maybe 45 minutes from our regular workshop location. And uh, they make these beads for us. So it's just, uh, there's so much involved here in these pieces. You got the threads, the wood, and then of course the chick boss metalwork that we're so known for. I wanna point something out, this necklace, it's so funny when people see this necklace, okay, you just see it kind of like this and you're thinking, eh, well, what is that? <laughs> How does that work? <laughs> well, it works like this. Yeah. So it's designed to twist. So um, of course you could wear it however you want, but it's designed to do this twist. And these, many of these particular necklaces are lariat style. So it means that you pull the beads down there's one bead that's kind of an adjustment bead, and then it goes over your head. So yours is like that too. So you can, can you show folks how you adjust that bead? Like so. Yeah, there you go. So then it can go up over your head and yeah. scoot it up and it can be wherever you like it. Yeah. And then the earrings are fabulous with these. Um, this particular earring, isn't yeah. that great? Yeah, a lot. I love this earring. Yeah, and, goes um, with my necklace. It does go with your necklace. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I got a great it goes well with my necklace. But we mix and match around here. So Absolutely. Uh, it, it, it's a good thing. Absolutely. And, and look at this cool bracelet. So it's the same thing. It's the the threads and the wood, but Okay, so you and I will really love this. Um, those of us that are bracelet challenged, that's a magnet. Oh, magnet, okay. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Yes. So yeah. when we first designed this collection, we designed it in very uh, light color. So we did all kind of um, neutrals like this. And uh, the necklace you're wearing, we designed it in this kind of aqua color which is really fun for, for summer, really pretty. Yeah. But, and um, some other ones that we have also that we did in lighter colors in the, in the organic, um, just kind of khaki look. But uh, I started looking at these and thinking, you know what, these would just be stunning in black. And so we started making the whole set in black, yeah. which is, is, you know, it just, to me, it just knocks me off my, my feet. Like this is one of my favorite ones. This oh, is yeah. a really fun necklace here. Okay. On this necklace, you can't have too fancy of a do. <laughs> It'll mess up your hair too much, but, but this one's great. It just goes straight over and look at that. Isn't that just... Yeah, fabulous hat. Really yeah. cool. Um, and they're so another, light, they're so lightweight. Yeah. Um, and then also because they're, you know, you got cotton threads up against your skin, um, we treat the threads with um, uh, a, a protectant. Uh, I'm not sure if we're using actually the brand Scotch Guard, but something like that. Uh, oh. that we can get down there but that's the concept that it's it's treated so if you do you know get some sweat or makeup on it you can just wipe it down with a, a cloth great yeah um there's another story behind this collection and that is that each piece is named after one of the ladies that works for us and oh, um cool. i was wondering because of my names my yeah. name is called sylvia Sylvia. Mm -hmm. Sylvia. And my necklace is called Sophia. Yep. And uh, Sophia and uh, this necklace here called Teresa. 
is another fun one like um, I'm wearing that when you put it on, it looks fabulous. This is their sisters. Oh. So Sophia and Teresa their sisters. <laughs> and then we. Village in Guatemala. Yes. Yeah. 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 Fabulous. And like, here's a one, another cool pair of earrings. Now all of this comes in aluminum, brass, or copper for the black. And then the, the lighter colors we only do in aluminum. So I want to encourage you to get online and this week, because what we're doing is putting this entire collection on sale. So the entire collection is 20% off with your discount. I'm a chick boss. So remember that I'm a chick boss at checkout in this entire organic collection right now. I've already just put it in place. Uh, we are um, live with that that promotion. So encourage you to go there and uh, support the uh, artisans. So many of them that are involved in the making of this collection, but you know, the thread makers, which is a different group, um, the bead makers, which is a different group in Guatemala, and then all the metalwork and uh, assembly is done by our group. Okay. My earrings don't have any threads, Pat, but are they still considered the organic? Does have yes, a they have the wood. Yeah, none of the earrings have the threads. They just okay. are wood, you know. And the same thing uh, I've said before, I, I think, that um, our ear earrings when we use uh, aluminum we use a sterling silver wire or post and when we're using uh, copper we use rose gold fill and brass we use a 14 karat gold fill uh -huh. so uh it's you know if you have allergy issues you don't need to worry about that the other uh, thing is that um, the copper and the brass is treated with polyurethane so it prevents oxidation good to know yeah, and you know, there's so much cool texture work on these. I'm not seeing it too well in my lighting here. There we go. There's uh, some nice hammer work on this piece. Yeah. Now again, this is one of these, it's a bracelet and it's, uh, you know, got the Very metal good. snap there, the uh, magnetic snap. So I hope that uh, you will join us for, for um, this week to get a, a nice discount on the organic collection. And want to remind you also that we uh, want to go live this August in talking with some uh, chick bosses that are making a real difference in the world. Um, you know, I, I, it would be wonderful if we could get the, the young lady that uh, just so uh, impacted the community by helping the, the animals at the zoo. Just incredible. Yeah. But we do have some folks lined up and I want to encourage you uh, if you're interested or you know some folks that are um, challenging their comfort zones and that, that they are beautiful and that they are doing things that are going to change the world, we want to talk to them. Any last words, Connie? Well, I just love working with you, Pat. You are, you are just a fabulous chick boss. <laughs> And the feelings mutual. I have to say, I remember when we went to San Diego and got to see those pandas. That was just, uh, that was a highlight. That was a, a real special reward for our hard work. That's true. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks everybody. Um, we'll be back next week and uh, to show you some new pieces and to talk, uh, have some musings about uh, what's, what's on our mind and what's on your mind as a chick boss. So um, be bold and stay safe. And healthy. And healthy. And have a great weekend and a good week. Bye. Bye.